Did I not tell you she was innocent? And so were the Prince and Claudio, who falsely accused her. But Margaret wasn't some fault of this, although against her will as it appears. Well, I am glad all things sort so well. So am I, being else by faith and force to call, call young Claudio to a reckoning for it. Friar, I must entreat your pains, I think. To do what, senor? To bind me, or undo me, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> senor Leonardo, truth it is, good senor, your niece regards me with an eye of favor, and I, with an eye of love, do requite her. Uh, but for my will, uh, my will is, your will this day should stand with ours to be conjoined in the state of honorable marriage, in which, good friar, I shall desire your help. My heart is with your liking. And my help. <laughs> Good morrow to this fair assembly. Good morrow, Prince. Good morrow, Claudia. We here attend you. Are you yet determined to marry my brother's daughter, Beatrice? Call her forth, then. The friar's ready. For this I owe you. Here comes other reckonings. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the lady I must seize upon? This same is she, and I give you her. Why, then she's mine. Give me your hand before this holy friar. I am your husband, if you like of me. And when I lived, I was your other wife. And when you loved, you were my other husband. Another hero! Nothing, sir. <laughs> One hero died, but I do live, and as surely as I live, I am a maid. The former hero, hero that is dead. <laughs> she was dead, my lord, whilst her slander lived. All this amazement can I qualify, when after the holy rites are ended, I'll tell you largely the fair hero's death. Meantime, let wonder seem familiar, and to the chapel let us present. <laughs> Soft and fair, friar. Which is Beatrice? I answer to that name. What is your will? Do you not love me? <laughs> Why no? No more than reason. <laughs> well then, your uncle and the prince and Claudio have been deceived. They swore you did. Do you not love me? Just no! <laughs> no more than reason. <laughs> Why then, my cousin, Margaret, and Ursula are deceived, for they did swear you did. They said you were almost sick for me. They swore you were well nigh dead for me. No matter. Then. You do not love me. No, oh, truly, but in friendly recompense. <laughs> Come, cousin, I'm sure you love the gentleman. And I'll be sworn upon it that he loves her, for here's a paper written in his own hand, the whole thing sung into his own pure brain, fashioned to Beatrice. Oh, oh, oh. Written my cousin's hand, containing her affection, to Benedict. <laughs> a miracle. Here's our hands against our hearts. <laughs> Come, I will have thee. But by this light I take thee for pity. <laughs> I would not deny you, but by this good day I yield upon great persuasion, and, and partly to save your life, for I was told you were in a consumption. And... Peace! I will stop your mouth. <laughs> uh, how dost thou, Benedict, the married man? I'll tell thee what, Prince. In brief, since I do purpose to marry, I will think nothing to any purpose that the world can say against it. And therefore, never flout at me, for I have said against it. For man is a giddy thing. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my conclusion. For that part, Claudio, I did think to have beaten thee. But in that thou art like to be my kinsman, live unbruised, and love my cousin. Come. Come, we are friends. Oh. Let's have a dance ere we are married, that we may lighten our hearts and our wives' heels. We shall have dancing afterward. Thirst of my word, therefore play music! Prince, thou art sad. Get thee a wife. <laughs> Get thee a wife! My lord! Your brother John is ta'en in flight and brought with armed men back to Messina. Think not on him till tomorrow. I'll devise thee brave punishments for him. Strike up, pipers! Thank <laughs> you.